Okay? okay? And whoever identifies as a woman is a woman. Uh, and what you is a human? A human. And yes. what is a human? I don't think we should um, talk about the definition of a human. Cause Why not? This is absolutely essential to the finish, whole argument. Let her finish but and then you can I don't think her. that that is the argument because um, you can define a human as you said, like genetics, right? A fertilized egg is a human because it has the genes of a human. Yes. Right? But I still don't think that that matters because um, the before the baby is born, I think the consequences of a baby being born that is unwanted is a lot worse, even if it's a human or not, whatever you define, it's still worse than it not being born. As it has no feelings and no wants and you know, it doesn't... define it like that. It doesn't... If it doesn't have a brain yet, it can't think, it can't perceive, it doesn't I have don't feelings. Think, I, don't, I think it's still a human, okay? A fertilized egg is biologically a, a human cell. Thank you. Okay? Biologically. And it's a biologically a human cell, but yes. I don't think a human Strictly cell still needs to be a, such a high priority in terms of um, hurting a human being that has... So, 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 has so, so can I reply to that? Yes. Wait, so can I reply? Right. Yeah, 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 go on. Okay, personally. So just, just bear with us, otherwise your point will get lost on the camera. Okay. We noticed. Yeah. First time here. Welcome, welcome. I've come here for six years. And I've, right, so you're going to wait one more point and then I'm going to reply. Okay. Uh, can I talk? Is that like... Yes, it's, it's recording. Okay. So, um, we're talking about human and what's the definition yes. of human, right? So, first of all, biologically it might be human, and I agree with that. But I think that socially accepted, like, construct if something does not have a brain, it cannot perceive, it cannot think, it cannot feel, and it doesn't even have a heartbeat, so it's not fully even alive yet, because the definition of life is like being, um, is, the, is having a heartbeat, or at least not being brain dead in some circumstances, which means, wait, which means that it does not think, does not feel, does not perceive, does not emotionally uh, perceive anything, then I believe it's not exactly the same. It's a social construct, even if biologically is. Can I ask you a question no, in no, return? Yeah, 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 go on. How do you, uh, how do you define dad, like okay. a dad human? So, so let, let, let me reply to the idea of how do we define a human being? And I, I, wanna, I wanna thank you for accepting and admitting that biologically what we are talking about is a human being, biologically. Now, you have, let me finish, I didn't interrupt you, I didn't interrupt you, allow me to finish. Now, you have all the same organs of a chimpanzee. Oh no, a chimpanzee has all the same organs that you do. But you're not a chimpanzee, and a chimpanzee is not a human being. So it isn't about the organs. It is, that's not what makes you a human being. The, the idea of the uh, argument of the heartbeat is inconsequential and neither is consciousness. So here's to your social... Na, 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 here's, here's to your argument about social contracts in terms of defining human life. You argued it based upon feelings, emotions and heart. Well, a human being who is having a heart transplant loses consciousness, can't feel anything and for a certain amount of time doesn't have a heart. But you wouldn't say at that moment that they cease to be a human being. Be why? Because that isn't what defines a human being. The only definition that is uniquely able to stand up to any kind of criticism is that a human being is something that is growing and that is genetically human and that has a unique genetic code from any other human being. You wanted to jump in one yeah, comment? Bob, if my mum aborted me at six months, would I be alive or dead now? You'd be dead. I would be. That's as yeah. simple as that. It is plain and simple as that. All human beings travel through a whole route of, from conception right through to natural death. Yes. And they're human from the beginning of conception to natural death. And anything that interferes with that artificially from conception means I'd be dead. So my mum, you know, it's yes. as simple as that. Can you answer my question, please, first? Sorry, I thought I had, but go on. My question, question was, how do you define that? Can I, wait, first of all, I'll answer your example regarding a heart transplant. But you know that that person will go back to being alive, right? Even if it's technically metaphorical. It's not guaranteed. Hmm? It's not guaranteed. Okay, but there is a uh, there is a chance without consequences There's, to other one second, people. One second, wait, wait, wait. There's less chance of someone having a heart transplant being alive at the end of it than people. a child who is fertilized in the womb. There's less chance. There is a hun nearly a hundred percent chance that the child inside the womb, fertilized egg, is alive up until the point that it stops being alive, than a human being having a heart transplant. Okay, but what I'm saying is. 
in this situation there are no consequences to other person's continuation of life let's say like that wait and second of all i still want you to define that for me because if you say what am i defining that, sorry dead a dead person because if you're saying a that only person. after yes. having an abortion a person is dead yes then i want you to define right. what is a dead person a dead person a dead human being is a human being who ceases to grow and has a genetic code that is human but you keep focusing on the definition of a human being because it, no one second but the, the reason why this is absolutely important because i am assuming in good faith and goodwill that you would never want to kill a human being that you would not agree with killing human beings so if so what's absolutely fundamental to this question is what is a human being unless you want to state that you are in favor of killing human beings i'm not saying i'm in favor of killing human beings i'm saying that a, a bunch of cells with no feelings and no wants yes. in the world yes. who, who has the potential to ruin someone's life or multiple people's life yes. okay is something that can be not killed but aborted can i do you with, agree with capital punishment that? with what sorry do you agree with executing prisoners i do not you don't know i yeah. do not I you do not, not. Can I do prisoners ruin other people's lives but i don't think that that's the same thing I why not because they do they not are... ruin other pe people's life the moment they're in prison and do not continue to commit did, did the uh... did the child one second did the child ruin the woman, the mother's life or did the consensual sex between no 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 hold on hold on hold on i'm using an example you used examples i'm using an example did the child ruin the woman's life or did her consensual sex ruin her life again uh, but that Answer example that is not can I speak? right but you can are I speak for a second sure. okay Answer first the of all the birth of the baby is what ruins your life i just want to start with that the act of sex that wasn't my question I, you are referring to you are being you pro life in my, all my cases my question yes my question is in the example i i stuck with your 16 year old girl example so be fair no 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 i we stuck with that i'm giving you my hypothesis my example in an example of consensual sex, so no rape, no force, no incest, a woman makes a choice with a man. Who ruined her life? And the pregnancy does ruin her life. Let's just say, put that into the example as well. Who ruined her life? Her choice or the fertilized egg? Who ruined her life? The fertilized egg, in my opinion. Who ruined the fertilized her life? egg. So, uh, a fertilized egg, one second, one second. A fertilized egg who had no choice in the woman's decision to have consensual sex is responsible for the woman having consensual sex. Do you know what? That's working backwards in time. Can you realize I, that? Can I, maybe her decision who caused who caused the uh, fertilized egg is what started it. But the egg Should she be wait, protected wait, from wait, a consequence? No, let me finish, please. Go on, go on. I'm sorry, I hate being interrupted. The, the cons consensual sex, the act itself, does not ruin her life. Thank you. What does not ruin her life? What create? What it creates might, but it is not the act itself, and you have to create that. But whose fault is that? In my example, whose well, fault? I'd have it? to like think. We're actually. In my example, whose fault is it? In, I don't think your example is the rep like represents the. No, actually, hold on one second. Yeah. My example represents ninety nine percent of all abortions. Using contraception. My yeah, yeah, my example of consensual sex leading to abortion represents ninety nine percent of all abortions. I'm just asking you to clarify your example. You didn't. My example is that if a woman chooses to have an abortion yes. after consensual sex whose 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 without contraception okay. whose response but we agree that in this example pregnancy would ruin her life who is responsible for ruining her life the fertilized egg or the woman and the man. Okay, so I think uh, contraception is a like an important thing in that example. But in my because example, yeah, yeah. they choose not to use contraception. Okay, I see. Now the reason they choose not to use contraception is also an important thing. Because, because they enjoy naked sex. They think it feels better. Well, I think that is a very specific example. Yes, we're using a very specific example. I did her for her for five minutes on a sixteen-year-old girl. 
Now I'm asking you to be charitable and deal with my. It is a responsibility in this case. However, should should the child question. should the child suffer? It's not, it's not a child, child and it's right. not, not a child yet. Why isn't it's it a child? Suffering. It's not a child yet and it's not Why suffering. Not and I think an abortion is also a consequence for her decision. It is also a very difficult decision for her to make, and it is a consequence for her. I think wrong decision. Do Do you think we should protect people from making bad choices? In, um, in what means? If I make a bad choice that has consequences to my life, should the state intervene and protect me from my bad choices? In what means? In any means. Not always, I don't think so. Not always? Yes. And why do you give pregnancy as an exception to uh, the rule? I think... I'm sorry. So it's okay. So what I'm saying is, I'm saying is, people need to face their consequences. Right. If you make a bad choice, own it, take the responsibility for it. Yes. I, I also believe, do, would you like to join in the conversation? The mother doesn't bear the responsibility, the child does. Yes, I agree. If you make a child live with a mother who is abusive, neglectful, or doesn't want that child, yep. the child bears that responsibility yes. for the whole of society, for yes. the rest of its life. Right. How can you say that's okay? I'm not saying that child abuse is okay. What I'm saying is that killing your child to protect you from the consequences of your choices is not okay. It's not killing, it's wait, wait, abortion, and abortion is also wait, a consequence. So let's come back to, I agree, can abortion I is a consequence, I agree, that is true. Yes. And lots of women suffer because they have abortions. Yes, but I think they suffer. Do you know that the pro-life movement was created by women, is led by women, and is dominated by women. Can I? Okay. Okay. So, and really, two seconds. Sorry about okay. So, two things. First of all, you're saying theoretically that something that can develop into a baby is. It's not a theory. It's a fact. Okay. So, some, you're saying that something that can develop into a baby is a living a human. Let, let, let's let's okay, let, let, let's talk about the meaning of a child. Okay. Can I first of all finish my argument? Yeah. Go on. So, a lot of times people have. Of like uh, fertilized eggs outside of the womb, and then the second, and it's a fertilized egg, and the second you put it into the womb, it doesn't work. Just like in a sex, something the egg, something the sperm doesn't catch egg. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. It's a I don't agree with artificial in uh, fertilization. Well, why not? Because what it does is it destroys um, embryos, and I'm against it. But that's some people's only chance to get pregnant. I don't agree with it. Okay, but I just, I want to, okay. The, the thing is, there's no, hold on one second, hold on one second. Let me be clear, let me clear, let me be clear. Let me be clear. I am against artificial fertilization because the way that artificial fertilization works is by destroying embryos. As a pro-lifer, I cannot agree with artificial insemination because it destroys human life. How it destroys embryos, it creates embryos. No, it doesn't. It kills it. What it does is it, it puts in multiple embryos with the full knowledge that most of those embryos will die. It's a deliberate murder of children. Just like in the womb, some embryos doesn't go through, sometimes it doesn't work. But let no, that's me fine, a miscarriage has happened. Let me go back to my point, please. Okay, it, based on your definition, still, okay, based on your definition, let's say an embryo was created by an uh, out of the outer body. Uh, fertilization. An embryo was created. Yes. Okay? So you're claiming that even though it's outside, it's not even in the womb yet, it's still a baby. You're claiming that, right? I'm claiming it's That's a human being That's and okay. it's alive. Okay. The chance that it will survive in the womb is very small. Agreed. Just like the chance a sperm would fertilize an egg is very small and they both... They also both agreed. So based on that logic, it is very logical that a sperm would also be considered a living human being because that is no. a chance no, and then this comes back to the argument, and this is why I said, this is why I said, and this, are you, 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 are you got, got, got guys all right to continue? Yeah? Yeah, just not for a long time. Because you're Fair enough. When you're ready to go, when, when, you're, when you're ready to go, let me know and we'll start wrapping it up. But, okay. Okay, so let, let, I'll, let me, I'll, I'll, because you're ladies and I want to be a gentleman, I'll let you have the last word. So this is going to be my last word. I think fundamentally to this entire discourse, we need to have a definition of what is a human being. And all, no, 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 no. And the problem is, the problem is, what is a human being is not subjective. It is objective. 
a human being is something that has the genetic code of a human. That's why you're not a chimpanzee. That's why you're not a gorilla. And even though they have all the same organs that you do, you're down to every single organ, you've got the same, but you're not a chimpanzee. So it's not about the organs. It's not about consciousness, because we all spend, God willing, eight hours unconscious every day, where we don't feel, where we don't interact, where we're not conscious. It's not about your heartbeat, because people who are having heart transplants don't have a heartbeat. They don't have a heart for a few minutes. The point is, the only definition that can stand up to scrutiny, consistent scrutiny, i.e. there's no exceptions to get round it, is to say that a human being is that which has, is growing, a living human being is that which is growing and has the genetic code of a human. I believe that people should not be protected from their consequences, but they should be helped in their mistakes. I'm not anti-woman, I'm pro-woman, I'm not anti, but I'm also pro-life. But also, I think men are, in this entire discourse keep getting a free pass because women, whether they have the abortion or not, are still getting to deal with all the consequences, and abortion is a consequence, but men are not being held responsible for their part in creating a life. And I think that men should be held responsible for their part in getting a life. So that's my final word. And now I'm going to let you guys have a final word so that you can go. I see what you're saying about being a human being. I think that is where we disagree because we believe that um, uh, the clump of cell that does have the human uh, genes and everything, I, we don't think that it has the same rights as a human being like you and I. Since it's only biologically counts as a human being, socially constructed, it's not exactly a human being and it does not have the same rights even if it is biological. It doesn't have the same impact on the, on the world and on other people as you and I as human beings. Um, also, so you were talking about the man being responsible for creating a life. The thing is that I don't think it is. It needs to be uh, referred to as creating a life yet, because uh, the clump of cell in the uterus is not a life yet. It doesn't have uh, wants and feelings. It, we don't know it. It doesn't have a path in this life. It hasn't had an impact at, or a significant enough impact on this world. I don't think that that is. The, I agree with you that it's a human, genetically it's a human, but I think that is where we disagree that this is not the same as a human being like, like you and me. Okay, so guys, before you go, before you go, I, I just want to say thank you so much you. for having a really lovely discussion. And I, I just want to say, I just want to say, I think that, that for me, the one point that I thought was a bit sad that we didn't really dig into was this definition of a human being. But let's not rehash the argument, you know. It didn't happen. But that's the question that I think all this argument rests upon. And I would like to give you a gift. I give everybody a gift who I have a debate with and a discussion with. So if you just bear with me, I'll try and find it for you. Um, so, no, bear with us. Do, 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 do. do you guys? Um, it doesn't happen daily, Speaker's Corner. It happens weekly, every Sunday. And I try to come. What? I live in London, yeah. And I'd be happy to meet with you guys and talk about this more if you want to. But I would like to give you a gift. And I would like, you know, have a listen to it, have a look at it. And, you know, do you guys have a gospel at home? Do you guys either, like, read the New Testament or anything? We're not a Christian. That's fine. That's not my question. I said, do you have one? <coughs> Can I give you one? Can I give you one as a gift? I don't, are you guys living together or apart? Uh, it's fine, we can have one. We have an Old Testament. You live very near. So in, yeah. in fact then, let me do this. We, do, we have an Old Testament at home. You have an Old Testament at home? Yes, I'm Jewish. Okay. We're both Jewish. We're both Jewish. All right, okay. So you've, that, that, that's the New Testament. Maybe have a, have a, have a, have a read of it. It, it is the sequel. You're absolutely right. It's part two. It's part two of the part two of the Abrahamic faith. Hey, hey girls, could I ask you just one thing? Big favour. The lady there said she was going to yeah, do it. If you've never seen an abortion, God bless. Now, take care. Please go on YouTube. So is that JC's camera? So guys, the the whole the whole issue of debate rests upon when does life begin. And I have not yet heard a definition by a pro-abortionist who is in favour 
of abortion about what makes a human being that can stand up to ex the exceptions, the criticisms of it. The only definition of a human being that stands up to any scrutiny is the idea of ge genetic code and growth. Because that's something that human beings have consistently all the way through their life, including during heart transplants. The reality is if we agree that a fertilized egg is human, then that means we cannot justify the murder of that human being.